Hi friends, Jeanette here with Vivo Vintage Designs. Welcome to today's video. So in this video, I uh, when I started this video, I noticed that I kept leaking air from my compressor, from my airbrush, and I realized that I had a crack in my additional moisture trap, and the compressor kept running incessantly because it was trying to um, compress more air to keep it at the PSI that I had it set at. So uh, that's why I'm doing a voiceover because it was really annoying, but uh, it was so annoying that I'd stopped the video at one point and just removed that additional moisture trap and rectified that problem. So in today's video, I am going to show you how I create the center for a large flower. Um, I'm only using a half a sheet of photo paper, but if you're using a full sheet or even working on canvas, um, whatever it is, if you're working, if you're creating a large flower, you want the center of your flower to be in um, proportion to the size of your flower. So uh, this is how I create the centers for mine. And I'm sure there's many different ways, but this works very easily. And I'm just using something that everybody has at home. So here you see me blowing out my petals. Now, the colors that I'm using are crimson, cranberry, pitch black, and of course, snow cap for the center. And the PSI on my compressor is set, I think it's set at like 30 or 40, I'm not sure. Let me take this opportunity to remind you that all the products used are listed in the description box just below the video. If you don't see it, click on show more and the list will expand and you'll see all the products and links. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support for my channel is greatly appreciated. And here I've added the second color. The first color I used, I think, was crimson, and I'm not sure, to be honest with you. And I added a little bit of purple into the red to try and deepen the color because that's what I do when I'm working with watercolor but it doesn't seem to work the same with the alcohol ink or perhaps my application was not correct but i do like that the little bit of purple that showed up in the uh, petals as i blew them out and you can see that to create these large petals i'm using a large amount of alcohol the less alcohol you use the more narrow your petals will be So when I added the pitch black, you'll see that in a moment. I only had a little bit in that bottle and I squeezed it and I, I, I guess it was a little clogged because when I squeezed it, too much came out. So I thought I needed more and then a lot came out. And then I added a little bit of uh, crimson to that just to see what would happen. And at first I thought I had ruined it, but worked out perfectly. So you can see that that center is pretty large. It's, I would say, about two and a half inches or three inches maybe. Maybe two and a half. So you can see that the pitch black really kind of took over. And at first I was disappointed, but I didn't give up on the painting. I kept going, kept blowing out my petals. And then what I started to do was to put the alcohol just touching the side. Now, I have a follower who sent me these cute little uh, bottles for alcohol, and I'm still using my old one that is cracked. So when I refill my bottle next time, I'll be sure to use my new bottles that she was uh, kind enough and generous enough to send to me. So what I started to do in order to try and control the black from taking over my petals was to put the black, uh, the alcohol, not necessarily in the center of the black, but just on the edge so that I got more red than black. You see me doing it here. Okay. 
and I just went around blowing more and more petals until I was satisfied with the look. And you know me, I say one more petal, just one more petal, and that turns into about five more. But I think that I'm finished here. <laughs> okay, so now I'm bringing you closer so that you can see the center of my flower. Now to create a large center, I am going to use a cotton swab, like a micron, a micro brush. So you can see here I'm tightening the fibers of the cotton around the brush, the uh, swab, so that they don't get too loose because as soon as you start dabbing, they start to become undone. And you can see here that the pitch black is absorbing the snow cap. But that's just our base layer, so it's okay. It gives it more depth. And keep switching your uh, cotton swab if you feel the need to, especially when you're first starting out with this technique. Um, you'll find that the fibers of the cotton swab become loose. I um, put a little water on my fingers and just spin it around so that you see me doing it there. Also, you can just spin the um, cotton swab in the ink and collect those fibers again. You'll see me do that in a moment. But you see here how nicely this works. See that? You can either cut it off like I did there And be sure to dry in between layers. Now I've got a new one. I tightened those cotton fibers, but as soon as you start tapping, they start to come loose, which is really annoying. And in a moment, I'll show you what I normally do. See, I spin the cotton swab in the ink to wrap those fibers around. And if you continue to do that, you don't even have to switch your um, cotton swab unless of course you were applying your first layer and it collects a lot of the black on the lit on the uh, tip then you do want to switch it out because you don't want to add dark color you want to add white so here you see I've, uh, the top of my center is where the light is coming from and I'm just going around and I've added all my ink and now I'm taking a little micro brush and adding in a few more details just for a little bit more interest and depth. And you can see how big the center of that flower is. If you tried to do that with a micro brush, it would take forever. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.